right here i'll be showing you how you can construct a pentagonal prism how you can construct a pentagonal prism and first of all we need to construct a pentagon that is an a five-sided polygon we need to construct that so if i'm able to construct a five-sided polygon so we we'll go on and construct uh, a pentagonal prism that is uh, a, a prism uh, with a cross-sectional area that is a five-sided uh, polygon or a five-sided form so first of all we have to construct uh, a pentagon as i said so draw uh, a vertical line like this then you draw just take a point from here so let's say the length of side of the pentagon is 25 millimeters so i will take a measurement of 25 millimeters here so this is 25 millimeters and i will draw horizontal line so here i will draw horizontal just a short horizontal line like this as i did for the first one then the next thing that we are going to do is that we know that the sum of angles in a pentagon is 500 uh, 540 so 540 by 5 and that will give us uh 108 so from this point let me call this point let me call this point point one so point one here and this is point two let me call it like that so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will place my protractor here and i will take a measurement of 108 i have to read from here so 108 this is 100 and 108 is here like this so this is 108 so i'm going to draw a line from here from this point one so i will draw a line from here to here okay then i will also take 108 108 here so i will need to read i need to read from here so this is 100 so 108 is um so this is 108 here so i will draw a line from here so i draw a line from here to here okay then i will take a measurement of 25 millimeters again 25 millimeters again so this is 25 millimeters so i will come here also and take a measurement of 25 millimeters so this is 25 millimeters okay so from this point so let me call this point this is point three so this is point three Okay, so this is point three and this is point four. So I will now take from here, I will take 108 again. So 108 again. So 108. So I'm going to read it from this side. So 108. So this is 100. So here I have 108 here. So this is 108. So I will draw a line from this point. So draw a line from here to here. So I will also take 108 at this point. Okay. So here I will read to this side. So this is 100. So and this is 108 here. So here I will draw this line. So I will draw a line from here. Okay, so this is 108 so i have formed the pentagon as you can see it so i formed the pentagon so what i need to do now is to so make this line so make them a thick line so this is 0.5 i will call this point this is 0.5 here and i will make this a thick line so this is how you can construct a pen this is another way you can use to construct a pentagon when you are given the length of side so and you know uh, the uh, value of each interior angle so i'm making the lines to be thick lines all right so this is the pentagon so the next thing i'm going to do is to uh, draw from here so i will from this point from this point four i will draw a horizontal line like this and from this point three here i will also draw a horizontal line like this then here i will draw a vertical line through point five to touch this point 
Okay, so draw a vertical line through this. All right, so I believe that what I see here now, I just like it looks like a, it looks like a square. Okay. All right, so what I need to do now to construct the uh, pentagonal. So next, I'm going to do. I will call this point here. This point, I will call it point A. I call this point. I will call it point A. So and okay. So next, thing I'm going to do here now is that I'm going to construct. Um, I'm going to construct this as an. Uh, okay. So I call this point A. So this is point B. Okay. This is point B, and this is point C, and this is point D. So let me label like that so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a horizontal line here so draw a short horizontal line so i'll draw a short horizontal line then i will take my self square and i'll draw a line in this direction then i will turn it here and draw this line in this direction all right so this point this point is point A, so I'll call this point, this is point A, then I will take my compass and take the distance from here, so from that is distance or distance AB, so if I like distance AB, it's also equal to distance CD, so I put at point A here and I make an arc here, okay, then I will take distance uh, AD, distance AD, so distance AD like this, so I put it at point A, so I make an arc here, like this, so this is point B, here is point B, and this is point D here, so with my compass, uh, uh, sorry, with my cell square, I will transfer, so I transfer this to the other side, and I will transfer this, to the other side to get point C. So this is point C here. So here I have point C here, like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is that, so I need to get this five point here. So what I will just do is that, so to um, from point A here, I will extend to five, like this. I will extend to five, and I will put it here, and I will make an arc here, like this. So this is point five. This is point 0.5, then uh, to get uh, point, uh, point 0.2, to get point 0.2, so I'll take this, so point 0.2 and 4, I just put that point A here, I make an arc here, like this, so I put that point B here, I make an arc here, so I need to take it easy. Put it here so this is point two then to get point one and okay so this point three this one is point three so this is point four and this is point three so to get point two and point one i just take this radius from here to here so from d to one so i put at this point d here i make an arc here and i put it at point c here so i make an arc here so here is point 0.1 and this is point 0.2 so if I join this together though I'm not going to join all together because it's solid so part of it will be hidden from us so I will join this with this and I will join 4 and 1 together I join 4 and 1 together and I will also um, I join 4 and 1 together and looking at I will also join 5, 3 together, like this, so while the rest, so 2, 3 will be hidden from me, okay, and this will also be hidden, 1, 2 be hidden from me, they are the back of the prism, so next thing I'm going to do is that, so I will, from this point, I need to construct something like this, up here so from this point b here i will draw a vertical line and then from point a i will draw a vertical line okay so from point d i will draw a vertical line 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I will take a measurement of the height of the uh, of the prism here. So let's say the height is uh, is 50 millimeters. Let me take 50 millimeters. So all I need to do now is to transfer transfer this point to this side. Okay, then I will transfer this. Transfer this to the other side. So here I will transfer this to the other side. Then I will join this together like this. Okay, so join this together. So looking at what we have here, so I can go on transfer the point. So all I need to do now is to transfer point 0.5 up from here, draw a vertical line. So this point here. This point is point 0.5. Then to locate point 0.4, to locate point 0.4, so I will draw this, draw a vertical line here. So this point here is point 0.4, and then so to locate point 0.1 on the upper face, so I draw a vertical line from here to here. So this is point. This is point 0.1. To locate point two, I'll draw a vertical line from here like this. So this is point two. This point is point two, and then to locate point three, okay, point three, I'll draw a vertical line from here. So this point here is point three. So I will connect this together, and then so I can call this point. This point here, this is point A one, and this is point B one. This is point C1 and this is point D1. So I will connect this together. So connect this together. So I will connect 5, 4 together, 4, 5 together like this. And I will connect 5, 3 together, 3, 5 together like this. Then I will connect 1, 4 together. 1, 4 together like this. So then, as I said, so this, we can see this, this is the toughest. So we are going to see this and we are also going to see this like this okay so looking at what we have here so the pen the pentagonal prism has come out so all i need to do now so i will draw a vertical line from one oh, sorry four, four to four so four to four and then one to one here one to one here so here i will also connect uh, 5 to 5, here, yeah. and here I will connect 3 to 3, okay, and then looking at this, so this will be hidden from us, this will be hidden from us, alright, so this is how to connect, how to construct a pentagonal prism, it's as simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice. Once you practice it, you definitely get it done. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.